So the reasoning behind Maria DB development, um, originally Monty uh, was, was part of the MySQLAB group that was acquired by Sun, and he spent some time at Sun, and after about a year, uh, the Sun workflow didn't really match the way Monty wanted to work. And I want to be clear that I'm not criticizing the way Suns runs their company. All I'm saying is, is the way they work didn't match the way Monty wanted to work. So he left Sun in order to do more development on the Maria storage engine, just the storage engine for, for MySQL. And after a certain amount of time, and, and clearly after the announced Oracle acquisition, the future of MySQL was sort of thrown into question. So MariaDB was, was started to sort of address that need to create a purely GPL fork that was free, would remain free, and was outside of the, the scope of meddling of any large company that may, may want to take a different direction with MySQL. We do track uh, MySQL to a great extent. Um, MariaDB is, in the end, a fork of MySQL. So we fork MySQL's GPL code, and then we build features and enhancements and apply bug fixes and patches on top of that. So you can consider MariaDB a drop-in replacement for MySQL, but it's a superset of MySQL incorporating new features, bug fixes, community patches, that sort of thing. We're trying to do release a release cycle that's a little more predictable and a little more aggressive than is MySQL's release cycle. So we initially released MariaDB 5.1, which was based off the MySQL 5.1 code base. We're also releasing a MariaDB 5.2 and a MariaDB 5.3 um, that may not track against actual Oracle releases of MySQL, but build on top of 5.1 or 5.5 in new and interesting ways. We're trying to do a release cycle that's a little bit faster than historically MySQL, Sun, or Oracle has released. But of course, given Oracle's relatively new standing as the maintainer of the MySQL code base, who knows what their plans are? And I, I would be very, very hesitant to speculate about what their release cycle may be. It may be that they take a much more aggressive approach as well. Yes and no. Any storage engine, uh, with, the with the exception of NDB that you will find in MySQL, you will also find in MariaDB. You will also find more storage engines in MariaDB than exist in the mainline MySQL. As regards InnoDB, uh, we, pro we provide uh, PBXT and ExtraDB in place of InnoDB, uh, particularly ExtraDB um, from Procona as a replacement for InnoDB. So yes, we provide mostly the same storage engines and then we include more storage engines on top of that. Procona is a member of the Open Database Alliance, as is Monty Program. Um, we're incorporating Procona's user stat version 2 patch into an upcoming release of MariaDB. So certainly, I mean, Procona, Procona is, is a world-renowned optimizer for high-performance, high-scalability MySQL. We'd be foolish to ignoring code coming out of Procona that they make available because it's obviously high-quality, well-tested, scalable, reliable code. So incorporating that into MariaDB, even though we might not have Procona customers demanding it, any user of MariaDB is going to see the enhancement, enhancements that those code, that code brings to the, the, the server. So, as I said, we don't include InnoDB. We, we provide uh, Procona's ExtraDB as an InnoDB replacement. Um, you can sort of consider ExtraDB sort of InnoDB improved um, so that those people that want InnoDB type transactional functionality can get that by using ExtraDB in Maria. And then we provide the Maria storage engine Separate from MariaDB, it's a bit of a confusing name. We're actually going to be holding a contest in the coming month to rename the Maria storage engine. Maria, the Maria storage engine is to my ISAM what ExtraDB is to InnoDB. So you can see Maria as my ISAM improved. So we have, uh, we have functionality for both InnoDB and my ISAM users with some performance increases and capabilities that you might not find in the mainline MySQL. We do have the same client server protocol. We are a drop-in replacement for MySQL at this time. Um, it's our hope that we can keep doing that. 
Um, that's sort of dependent upon our upstream partner. Uh, but at this point in time, uh, installing MariaDB and running it is as simple as stopping your MySQL process on your server, installing MariaDB, whether it be from source, a binary tarball, or your package management system, restarting the MariaDB service, and it will read all of your MySQL data set, all the command tools are familiar and will work, the command line syntax is the same, so we are really a drop-in replacement for MySQL. We haven't started developing uh, what, what might be considered third-party clients or utilities right now. Um, we're, we've been mostly focused on cleaning up the tool chain, making sure the tool chain is usable by anybody, whether they work for, for MySQL, Sun, or Oracle, or if they're just a hobbyist in their home, so making a build bot service that anyone can run, making sure that anyone can build our source code from scratch without a lot of, uh, a lot of headaches, and then getting our initial releases out. Um, I know that there has been some discussion about doing such things. Uh, I haven't been directly involved in those discussions, and even if I had, given the fact that we haven't actually formulated a strategy about how we do it, I be a little hesitant to start talking about what we might do because it would be an uninformed opinion. We are. Um, the MySQL documentation is not released under a free license. No one is freely able to reproduce the MySQL documentation, which remains among some of the very best documentation in free software and open source. However, that, as I said, that documentation is not released under a free license. So we are going to start a documentation project to release documentation under a freely usable and reusable license. And we'll be holding a BOF session here at the MySQL Users Conference to start discussing how the community wants to build that documentation. And it won't be Monty program alone building this documentation. Again, that documentation fits under the umbrella of the MariaDB project, and it too is a project, not a product. I welcome anyone in the community to get involved in, in making the kind of documentation they'd want to create and use.